What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a text reveal inside Resolve 16. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I put out weekly videos helping you guys grow as creators and filmmakers. So if you have not already, click that subscribe button and tag along. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do this text mask reveal. It's a very simple yet effective technique and it looks really good in a lot of applications. So let's dive inside Resolve 16 and we'll go from there. So you guys can see I created this very simple text reveal mask and something really neat to spice up your videos every once in a while. So to create this effect, you need to find a video clip that you like. I just grabbed the same video clip that I had and we are gonna hop into Fusion. Then I hit Shift Spacebar and I look for a text. Add that, it's gonna go ahead and drop in a merge together. We're gonna go ahead and throw the text on number one real quick and I'm gonna do dual screen so I can see everything. Here we're just gonna put Josh. I'm gonna size that up just a bit. Maybe change the text to something else. I'm gonna go ahead and drag my video clip to the spot where I think it needs to be so I can cover it up. That should be pretty good right there. I might actually size that up even more. The next step is to add a polygon and you can either click this button right here or with the text selected, you can hit shift spacebar again and look for polygon. We'll add that and it will go ahead and connect it in there. I'm gonna change back over to single screen so I can see everything a little bit better. Now you can see the text immediately went away and you're not really sure why, and that's because the polygon out of just native is going to take the text away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit invert and now it'll bring it back. We're gonna go up here to the very top cursor and we're gonna start drawing around my hand and camera. Of course, the more time you take on this and the tedious little fine tuning is always gonna result in a way better product. Now we can see our text is out of the way, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start dropping some keyframes on all these that I might be moving. I'm gonna go ahead and soften the edges up, just maybe like very little, very, very little. We're gonna go over probably two frames. We're just gonna drag this over just like so. I am going to hold down and highlight a couple of these and you can see they turn yellow and I'm gonna kinda of just move them relatively out of the way. I'm not gonna make you sit through this whole thing but you're essentially just going frame by frame, moving the mask, adjusting it, fine tuning it until you get to where it looks really good. I think that looks good right there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna backtrack to where we had it, double check everything is good. And yeah, I can live with that. It's as easy as that, just doing a mask around it. You can go ahead and jump back in the edit page if you like, let it render out, watch it through, see if you like it, if you need to go back in and fine tune things. Maybe you need to add a little more blending options. On the first video clip, I actually wound up doing the exact same thing. However, I wound up holding option, dragging it over and copying it, right clicking on it and going to read time controls, and reversing the speed of the video clip. And then I hop back in Fusion on that video clip, change the text, and just fine tune the mask around that. So it'd be two different things when it came on and then left. Now let's say you want to leave that text on the screen and have an object go completely through it, but always having pieces of that text on the screen at some point to really create that 3D look and make it look like it's in the environment. To accomplish that, this is how you do it. We've got a simple video clip of a car driving by we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna hop over into fusion we're gonna hit shift spacebar yet again we're gonna look for a text again I'm just gonna do a simple text you can however do a 3d text and it would look really good if you haven't seen the video I did on 3d text and titles I'll link it in the description below um, it will definitely teach you how to accomplish that and you can apply that towards this technique maybe change the text to something that I prefer yeah, I think that looks pretty good. To accomplish this effect, it is the exact same method and steps. We're gonna make sure the text is selected. I am going to hit shift spacebar. I'm gonna look for poly gone yet again. I'm gonna add that and we are gonna draw around the car. You can see that it's inside the car, so we're gonna do the same thing. Scroll over here to the tools. We are going to hit invert and now that it's there, I'm gonna soften that edge up just 
little bit. We're gonna add a keyframe on a couple of these that I know are going to move and possibly change. We're gonna go a few frames over. I'm gonna move the car to, I think, a good spot. Let's see how that looks. And yeah, I think that looks really good. If you wanted to, you could add a shadow on that text. You can make it 3D so it's really popping in the environment. You could even bring in lights into that 3D text and really make it look like it's in the environment and pop it out. But there you go, guys. Two examples on how to do a text reveal inside Resolve 16. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment below and some new videos you want to see coming out. Uh, I got some new tutorials coming out, but I always like hearing from you guys. I like making videos of things you would like to see. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. I'm the Iron Giant. You guys are amazing. I'm out.